Hi, I'm Julia. Welcome to Julia Lives. Today, I'm going to give you an overview of the Campus Day experience at the University of Michigan. You'll begin the day at Central Campus, but for those of you that have a college located in the north part of campus, whether it be engineering, stamps, or any performing arts, you will board one of the free buses available on the university campus and ride over there for an additional tour of your college. Campus Day is set up for students who have already been accepted and it is a more detailed day-long experience at the University of Michigan. I've been on both tours, both the Campus Day and then the summer experience if you just want to visit campus. Campus Day is an all-day long event. If you just want to visit, that's generally a brief introduction followed by a tour of the campus and then you're off on your own to explore. It's usually about a two, maybe three hour long experience. Campus Day, however, you arrive at 7.30 in the morning and you may not finish until four o'clock in the afternoon. That was a peek at the informational session that started the morning. You could just tour the tables. They had coffee and other beverages. Then I've included a few slides here just to give you an idea of what kinds of things they went over in the slideshow. After the financial aid session, then there are brief sessions about a variety of topics from housing, to admissions, to choosing your major, and then there's a panel of current students who are there to answer questions. And that really is truly just a, a question and answer session. Then you're dispersed into groups. You're categorized by your major. So in this case, my daughter was accepted to Ross. And yes, I know they're Ross Halls. <laughs> and so then we ended up going off with a student who's a current student at Ross. She took us around the campus. Then we went to the South Quad and ate lunch. And I'll have pictures of the food and some of the options there. Then we went back to Ross where there was a, a three hour long session. And so it started off with the, the person who's the director of Ross, and then there were three students who spoke about their experience. Then we got to have a second panel of Ross. I thought that was a little overdone. It was a lot of Ross, and there were actually people falling asleep. And I felt bad because they were right in the front, and there was one dad who was sleeping on his hand like one of these and kept launching forward off of his hand. And so it just was a lot. They did give the students a pair of Ross socks. You can't find those at the M Den, so that was pretty cool to get those. They were a strange size though. My daughter, they were like knee highs, but they were really tight. So you may find if you're, if you're here that you're gonna have to wear those kind of bunched down around your ankles, but I still thought they were cool. I thought it was a nice touch. And honestly, it was very well run. It was just a lot of information. So if you go to Campus Day, you will have no questions left unanswered. This is State Street, and then you'll see a path that leads you into campus, into an area known as the Diag. And it's right in Central Campus. And then as we get into the video, you'll see the Block M that's featured right in the middle of this area. And the Block M is known for having a bit of folklore to it. It's believed that if a student steps on this Block M, you'll see it right there, they will fail their first exam at the University of Michigan. The student who was giving us a tour said that not only were both of her parents alumni, but their, her aunt was also an alumni there and stepped on the Block M and this young woman failed her first exam and believes it's due to her aunt stepping on that Block M. So when you go there, don't step on the Block M. It's just safer. This is one of the larger lecture halls, but you may find that many of your classes are not in something like this. This is the House of the President featured here. And then if you go just down the street, across the street here, this is where you'll walk into Ross. So those of you who are going to Ross, it's just about a block down on the left.
On the next block over, you'll find the South Quad, a dorm where we had lunch for the day. This is the South Quad right here. And if you have a dining plan, you get unlimited food. You can't go in and out a bunch of times, but you could stay there all day and just eat if you wanted to. You can also bring Tupperware containers in, so if you wanted to bring food out to go, no one will stop you. They do talk about swipes that you can get to area restaurants using your M card, but honestly, it's only $50, so it is limited. Now, this is a picture of Ross, and next we'll go inside Ross so you can look around and see what Ross has to offer. The Starbucks located in Ross makes i believe it is more money per square foot than any other starbucks in the world it's rather busy this is state street the main street that runs in front of the university of michigan they recently took out an urban outfitters and replaced it with a target it is smaller but you can find quite a few of your basic needs there and as usual i appreciate it very much when you hit that like button it does something to the youtube algorithm so that more people will see this video who would like to learn more about the university of michigan